What if we try to put an edge on this thing, we keep it in the wallet, and, uh, you know, we got ourselves a little cutting knife. So I got myself a variety of sandpapers, and I'm gonna work my way through and try to put a bit of an edge on this. Now, I don't have a guide, and I should, but I'm just gonna see if we can get it to the point that it can barely cut through some rope. So, uh, if you don't mind, I am going to put on some music, maybe a podcast, and I'll get back with you. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. It's a good thing I'm bored. Like I'm in prison, but I'm making a shank. So we've completely exposed the metal edge all the way across. So let's uh, let's start putting trying to put a bevel on it. I think I have it to an acceptable point of sharpness. It doesn't quite look like a typical credit card, but I think if you pull it out like that, you can should be able to hide it. But a uh, piece of paper, see if we can cut it at all. I mean, it's cutting, but is it super sharp? Ah, it's doing okay. It's not like butter, but then again, I don't actually know how to make it cut like butter. Um, it's actually one of the first times I've sharpened something. But yeah, I mean, it's sort of cutting. Alright, let's try something a little more difficult. Let's see if it'll cut a zip tie. This is a pretty heavy duty one. Will it cut a zip tie? Ah! Yeah! It will! <laughs> Alright, what else? I'll just kind of cut with it. Alright, uh... I don't really want to... I really don't want to sacrifice this webbing. I mean, I have my child safety vest. We could cut one of these... No, I'm joking. How about... This This will be pretty difficult. This is, uh... <laughs> this is how cheap I am. This was on... Uh, somebody threw away a couch. And this was the back of the couch. And so I cut it up. And uh, I've been using it for upholstery projects. It's kind of a faux faux leather. So let's see if we can cut it at all. I don't know. I don't think we. Oh, oh! It's going through it. It's cutting. Ew! What the? All right, 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 right. Calm down. Calm down. All right. So there should be no way that this will cut through this. <laughs> this is going in my wallet. The ultimate everyday carry knife. Am I wrong? Okay, we have some 150 pound paracord versus knife card. <laughs> like butter. Like butter. I. What else is a cut? Oh, no, 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 no. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Alright, how many of us have been in this situation? Come on. Get it. Come on, you. Right? Can't get this thing out of here to save your life. 
What if? What if? Okay, here we go. No trickery, right? It's not pre-cut. I, I did bend it a bit here, but we'll try to cut it up here. Okay. Can we cut through with the knife cart? Ah! Oh, sweet. Get in, you my baby. I have to say, that, that was oddly satisfying there. So it doesn't look like the edge has been damaged from us going through that plastic too much. And not bad for just literally rubbing it on some, some sandpaper. So of course, after I've uh, already put all the effort into this, turns out you can, um, that somebody's already done this video. They used a professional sharpener no, though, and not just uh, some sandpaper. So this is a very cheap way to turn one of these extra ones uh, I wouldn't do this to a card that you intend to hand to anybody because they will literally cut themselves. I cut my finger right here in the process of sharpening this. But as a tool to put into a part of your wallet where, you're, where your credit cards are not, or if someone's mugging you and asks for your credit card, here you go, and then ha, and then run away. Okay, I mean, that, that's probably not the best advice. <laughs> Ignore that advice. Ignore it, okay. Oh, and uh, by the way, I did end up closing both uh, the Acorn and the Stash down, and I opened up uh, an M1 and a Fidelity account. The M1 for automating the IRA, um, just because I, I really like the M1 Pi solution. Um, sorry, I know that's not necessarily uh, shop-related, but I uh, just didn't want you to think that I ruined a perfectly good card. I did clo end up closing the account with them. Because uh, uh, five dollars a month uh, for two early accounts, um, I mean it, it's worth it if you are the kind of person who wants to set it and forget it and just walk away, um, and you want to invest in your child's future. I believe it's called a UGMA account. It provides um, it's a custodial account. It will become your child's account sometime between the ages of 18 and 21, depending on your state. Um, in Ohio, it happens to be 21, and uh, the money is theirs. Uh, the first $1,100 is tax-free, and then the second $1,100 is charged at the child's tax rate. So, if you end up putting about five bucks a week in, you end up getting most of that. It ends up being around like uh, 2,300 to 3,000 uh, dollars in uh, in interest gained uh, over over those years. Um, but it's a great way to, to show your children, you know, five bucks a month, or sorry, sorry, five bucks a week, uh, is enough that they'll hopefully be able to pay, get, you know, it's, I mean, it'll be seven, eight thousand dollars, so, I mean, it's a decent used car that's, um, potentially starting to pay down their student loans, uh, potentially down payment on a house, a very modest house, um, yes, but, um, really, you should be in a modest house. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little preachy. <laughs> sorry, I've, uh, I've 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 definitely been uh, diving into the realm of personal finance and uh, you know responsibility and all that good stuff for the little ones. Because uh, time, my goodness, time. If you uh, the the compound interest and what it can do is just it, it, it's more than you can ever do in your life. Like if you had enough money like initially like enough capital startup because mommy and daddy gave it to you which is kind of what I'm doing in a way um, but, but you know it's it's five bucks a week that's uh that's a, what Starbucks coffee so you, you do you do without one day a week and your kids got themselves uh you know a nice used car when they go to a, and uh, it, it costs you very little that's very little in the long run right it's a small pain spread out through many years um, Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting preachy again. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I will see you next time, and uh, this is definitely going back into the wallet. Right in there. Just in case in the future I need a sharp implement to quick cut something. I hope you enjoyed this goof goofy little episode. Uh, if you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.